Hello my dear friends and welcome back to another Bad Batch video. Ever since episode 8 reunion dropped, I've made a couple of videos covering the biggest moments of that episode. For example, we spoke about the return of Cad Bane, the fate of the Kaminoans and what might happen to Crosshair. But in today's video, I want to focus on a seemingly small detail that went over most people's heads. A detail that I think will turn out to have massive implications going forward. And I'm talking about Hunter and Echo's small but significant conflict on Bracca. I want you guys to think back to this scene. Echo tells Hunter that they need to get off that planet as Rex warned them, but Hunter refutes this by stating that they need the money. Now it's very clear in this scene that Echo is not happy with the way that he's being ignored by Hunter and the others. After Hunter and Tech lead the way to haul the Jedi cruiser, Echo begins to interject with his objection, but Wrecker just elbows him gently in the stomach. Now, Echo just goes along with it, but it's pretty evident that he's angry about the way that he's simply dismissed by all of the others. Rewatch this scene and you'll see what I mean when I say this is foreshadowing a bigger dispute between Echo and the rest of the group. I truly think we're in for a much more significant argument further down the line, and this episode was just sowing the seeds of what's to come. So you might be wondering, why is this so important? Because Echo looks to be at his wit's end and he's very much the forgotten member of Clone Force 99. Let me explain what I mean and where this is all leading. As someone who loved Echo when we first met him in the Clone Wars, a major gripe I have with his character arc in this series is just how insignificant he's made out to be, especially when you compare him to the rest of the group. The spotlight is never really on him and it does feel as though he's forgotten. Now while he did have a couple of moments of focus, it was only as a comedic prop when Trace asks if there's an Echo. Is there an Echo in here? Yes. What? I'm Echo or the other time he was very fatherly to Omega. But unfortunately, he's something of a misfit in this series. Compared to the others, he's really been given the short end of the stick, so let's examine this further. Hunter is the head of the group, and as such has assumed natural leadership of the Bad Batch. He is composed, rational, and often the one with the insight to get the group out of some tough situations. Wrecker has had most of the show's spotlight ever since his headache started in the third episode, and with the scare we had in episode 7, this was amplified. When it comes to tech, he's appropriately the tech guy. He provides all of the necessary calculations with precision and really is the brains of the group. Now, of course, he's not the most emotive guy you'll ever meet, but he's integral to all of the Bad Batch's missions and escapes. And then, of course, we have Omega. From a certain point of view, you could say that the show is really about her. A mysterious young female clone who has found belonging in a group of genetically enhanced clones. Omega is in and of herself part of the Bad Batch, although her enhancements have never been clarified. She might be force sensitive or simply extremely intuitive. From what we've seen in the first half of season one, she can read any situation and seems to be truly in tune with the emotions of others. And then we have Echo, who unfortunately I can't really say much about because he hasn't had any central role in this series so far. I mean sure, he helps Tech and is important to the group, but as a standalone character, he really has been done wrong, and a large part of that can be blamed on the way that the rest of the group seem to neglect his insight and talents, just as we saw in episode 8. Under normal circumstances, Echo would be the brains of the group, and due to his half-cyber body, he could be the tech guy, but since tech was already there to fill that role, Echo has been reduced to the sidekick. And it really does sadden me, as I'm sure it does all other Echo fans. You might even argue that if used correctly, Echo has just as much potential of being a lead character as Hunter or Omega, but that's not the case. You see, when episode 7 came out, I really thought things were going to change, Captain Rex appeared and I definitely thought we'd see him interact with Echo, but for some reason, that didn't happen. I mean sure, they both commented on what happened with Fives, but besides that, we didn't get any meaningful interaction. Now I understand that the plot of the episode was removing the chips and preventing the initiation of Order 66, but surely we could have had something with Echo. After all, he is the member most acquainted with Captain Rex. And let's be real here, the two didn't just know each other vaguely, they shared some deep moments that were really important to both of their character arcs. I'm thinking specifically on the lines of the mission to the Citadel and the subsequent rescue of Echo in Season 7 of the Clone Wars. As we saw in the former episode, when Echo tried to secure transport to make an escape from the Citadel, he was caught in an explosion that seemingly killed him. Following his capture by the Separatists, Echo was transformed into a cyborg. 
He was outfitted with a cybernetic replacement for his lower torso and legs, while his right arm, which he had lost, was replaced by a socket arm, which allowed him to interface with computer systems. Later on in the Clone Wars, faced with some major losses, Captain Rex theorized that the droids had learned his personal playbook of strategies, noting that his tactics were consistently being countered. So to learn how the Separatists were predicting his strategies, Rex and Commander Cody intended to lead a squad into Separatist lines to the Cyber Center. Before the mission, Rex sat in the barracks and looked at a picture of him with Fives and Echo, telling Cody that the strategies used by the droids were the ones he had made with Echo. Rex began to think that Echo might still be alive, but Commander Cody thought it was impossible. Along with the Bad Batch, Rex infiltrated the Cyber Center and discovered the source of Trench's strategic signal. Captain Rex was shocked when the signal coming from Skako Minor identified itself as CT-1409. And this, of course, was Echo's clone trooper designation number. Once on Skako Minor, the crew was able to infiltrate the Techno Union's headquarters and made their way to Echo's chamber. Rex pulled him free and Echo regained consciousness. Echo was only able to remember his final moments at the Citadel, but once Captain Rex helped him orient himself, he realized what was happening and was very happy to see that Captain Rex returned for him. So when Echo sees Rex in the Bad Batch episode 7, it's very disappointing that we didn't get at least a short, meaningful conversation between the two of them. Many Clone Wars fans, myself included, would have loved to have seen that and it would have been quite the emotional callback. Echo deserved at least that and it's a shame that his character is being overshadowed, but there is a good chance this is deliberate and from here on out Echo might have a lot more of the spotlight. And it's all because of the conflict we saw in episode 8. It was a small detail most people didn't think twice about, but one which is going to lead to something bigger. Now, the tension between Hunter and Echo was based on two contrasting ways of thinking. While Hunter thinks like a survivalist, trying to make money to survive, Echo demonstrates a clear sense of duty towards the Republic, even in spite of the end of the war. He maintains the values he once held as a trooper of the Republic, and in many ways I think his values are more in line with those of Captain Rex. Echo standing his ground in episode 8 was the most assertive we've seen him, and I think this is going to grow as we progress further into the series. It feels as though the tension is going to continue to rise between Echo and the rest of the group. I also think there's a good chance that Captain Rex will appear again in the show, and Echo might go off with him at least temporarily to save other rogue clones from their chips. Not to go off topic too much, but I've had a lot of questions questions from you guys about Rex following episode 7 and 8. And a recurring one is whether or not we're going to see him again. As I said, there is a good chance we will, but it's probably going to be much further down the line, maybe even in season 2. The main evidence is the fact that he told Hunter that there are more rogue clones out there, ones who did not remain loyal to the Empire, probably because their chips did not set off. Rex's return to this series will probably be when the Bad Batch come across more rogue clones who haven't had their chips removed, and they're going to need to get in contact with Captain Rex. There are also also action figure leaks which point to Rex's return, one of which revealed a clone called Captain Ballast. I spoke about him recently and how it's likely that he's from a legion we haven't even seen before. And this is based on his turquoise coloration. It's also probable that he did not execute Order 66 since he is not wearing the white armor of the clones who remained loyal to the Empire so he could be one such clone that the Bad Batch come across. But going back to Echo, I do hope he finally gets his moment soon. Unfortunately, I think it's most likely going to be in conflict with the others. But what do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts of all of today's video in the comments down below, and let me know your thoughts of Episode 8 Reunion. I simply can't wait for Episode 9 on Friday, and as always, I'll be doing a full episode breakdown. If you guys enjoyed this one, please be sure to give me a big fat thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you're new, be sure to hit the bell, and if you want to contribute, my Patreon link is in the description. Description. Otherwise, you can join and become a member of this channel. May the Force be with you. I'm Star Wars Meg, wishing you all a phenomenal rest of the day, no matter where you dwell in the galaxy. Have a good one.